Welcome to Dodge Torque Arm 2 video training series. Today we're going to show you the proper steps to remove a drive shaft from a screw conveyor drive. First thing you need to do before removing the drive shaft from the gearbox is to check your manual and go by the proper size removal bolt for the keeper plate. This is a different size than the attachment bolt. It's not included because in five or ten years it's not going to be around anymore. In addition, you're going to need to find proper socket to fit the removal bolt. Next step is to remove the keeper bolt from the drive shaft. Now you've got your keeper plate on there. What you're going to need to do is to run the removal bolt through the keeper plate and pry the wedge out. To do that, you've got to get under the snap ring. Take your snap ring pliers and remove the snap ring that's currently in the plate. One hint, when you purchase this removal bolt, before you attempt the removal process, spin the keeper plate on there to make sure that there are no burrs on the removal bolt. If there are, it's going to get stuck when it's inside here and it's going to be difficult You're going to have to take it apart. The next step is to position the keeper plate on the removal bolt as close to the snap ring groove as possible without covering it up. This makes sure that you have a minimum number of turns before it backs against the snap ring. The next step is to now put the snap ring back in place over the top of the screw into the snap ring groove. When this is done, since you've got it against it, now it's a hand turn and it's tight. Now, to remove the tapered adapter, simply drive the removal bolt in against the shaft and it pries the adapter out of there. Now you're ready to remove the drive shaft from the gearbox.